Alright, so let's take a look at uh, finding the limit of absolute value. So before we start on uh, taking the limits, let's just take a look at the absolute value. So the absolute value of x can be written as a piecewise function. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, then the absolute value of x is just x. And if the if the x is less than 0 or negative, then the absolute value is equal to negative x. So let's just take a look at uh, an example using this. So let's just look at the absolute value of 5. Now, if you notice here, the absolute value of 5, the x here is positive. So since the x is positive, we're going to take this and plug it in here for x. So plugging 5 in for x, we just get 5. So now let's take a look at the absolute value of negative 5. Now if you notice here the x is negative 5. It's negative. So we're going to take this and plug it in for x. So we have our negative sign and then plugging the negative 5 in for x that would be negative 5 and a negative and a negative gives us our positive 5. Alright, so now let's look at some uh, problems where we take the limit. So here we have the limit of absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So to do this uh, this limit here, if you plug 2 in for x, you get the absolute value of 2 minus 2 over 2 minus 2, which gives us 0 over 0. Okay, and we can't we can't do this. So let's look at what we need to do. So in order to evaluate this limit, we're going to have to take the limit from the left and the limit from the right. So, and in order for this limit to exist, it would have, they would have to be the same. The limit from the left and the limit from the right have to be the same. They have to equal each other. Alright, so first, let's do the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Okay, so we're coming into 2 from the right hand side. So that means that we're plugging in numbers for x. We're plugging in numbers like 2.1, 2.01, .1, 2.001 and so on. Alright, so 2.1 minus 2 would give us 0 0.1, 2.01 .01 minus 2 would give us 0 0.01, but notice that whenever we plug these numbers in, we're getting a positive value inside the absolute value. So this would give us the limit as x goes to 2 from the right and since the number inside the absolute value is positive then that is just equal to x minus 2 just like we saw in this see if it's positive then your answer is what's inside the absolute value and if what's inside the absolute value is negative, then it would be the negative of what's in here. See, the negative. Alright, so let's go back to our problem. Alright, 
and then this is over x minus 2 and then you notice these cancel out so I'm left with the limit as x goes to 2 from the right of 1 over 1 so that would be the limit of 1 which is 1 all right now I need to take the limit as x goes to 2 from the left all right so when I'm taking the limit as x goes to 2 from the left I would be putting in numbers like 1.9 1.99 1.9 and so on. Now, notice if I put in 1.9, I get 1.9 minus 2, which is negative 0.1. And if I put in 1.99, that would be negative 0.01. So what we notice here is that when I'm plugging these numbers in here, I'm getting a negative value inside the absolute value. So since I'm getting this is negative in here, then this would be the limit as x goes to 2 from the left. And since this is negative, then my answer would be the negative of this. So there's the negative sign over x minus 2. And so you see here, the x minus 2's cancel. I'm left with 1 and 1. And so this is the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of negative 1 over 1, which is the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of negative 1, which would be negative 1. So this would tell us that the limit as x goes to 2 of the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2 okay so you see here since the limit from the right and the limit I'm sorry this should be a negative one because the limit of negative one as x goes to uh, 2 from the left. So the limit of negative 1 as x goes to 2 from the left would be negative 1. And since these two here are not equal, then that means the limit does not exist. All right, let's take a look at one more. So here I have the limit as x goes to 0 from the left of 1 over x minus 1 over the absolute value of x. So I need to rewrite this. That's going to be the limit as x goes to 0 from the left of 1 over x minus 1 over. Now, since I'm coming in to 0 from the left-hand side, Okay, then that means I have a negative value inside the absolute value. So that would be negative x because x is less than 0. And so this would give me the limit as x goes to 0 from the left of 1 over x. And then the minus and the minus, that's plus. 1 over x and that would be the limit as x goes to 0 from the left and I can combine these I have a common denominator so that's the limit of 2 over x as x approaches 0 from the left all right so now let's take a look at what this limit here would be so I'm plugging in numbers like 
uh, negative point one, negative point zero one, negative point zero zero one, and so on. So if I take two over negative point one and then two over negative point zero one and then two over negative point zero zero one, what is happening to this fraction here? Well, the numerator is staying the same, but the denominator is getting smaller and smaller. So when the denominator gets smaller and smaller, the whole fraction gets larger and larger. So this limit would be going to infinity. And I hope this video helped. Thanks.